lead time, reorder point, cycle service level, and field rate. I quickly explain these concepts and I will do a little bit simulation too. Order lead time or simply lead time is the time interval between when we place an order and when we receive it. Cycle service level or simply service level is probability of completely fulfilling the demand during the period, no matter how much it is. Fill rate is the proportion of the demand that we satisfy. I am using a simple example to explain these concepts. Suppose the demand is uniformly distributed between 1 and 10, discrete 1 and 10. And suppose we have chosen to have 8 units in inventory when we place an order. If demand is 1 to 8, we can satisfy the demand. But if it is 9 or if it is 10, we fail to satisfy. Therefore, the probability of fully satisfying the demand is 8 out of 10, which is 80%. The situation differs for fill rate. In these situations, we fulfill the demand we satisfy 100% of the demand, but in these situations also we satisfy a portion of the demand. So it's not fully failure, we partially satisfy the demand. Let me go to a second example. Right click, open the Excel sheet, and then we will go from there. A normal distribution with average of 100 and standard deviation of 20, something like this. When I find an instance of that demand, if I compute the probability to the left of that instance, I will get something between 0 and 1. Therefore, in order to generate an instance, I can generate a number between 0 and 1, and then I can use that number as this probability and find this value. Suppose I generate a number, and suppose it is 0 0.6 equal to norm inverse, norm inverse. That probability was 0 0.6. Average is 100, and I like it. Comma. Standard deviation is 20, and I like it. If I enter, that instance of demand is created. If I want to round it, I just go over there, round, round to zero, and it will give me a round number. However, to make it random, instead of 0.6 instead of 0.6 I will go ahead and type RAND open parenthesis close parenthesis now I RAND is a number between 0 and 1 and the rest is average and standard deviation and therefore I can create random instances of that distribution. Oh, I take this one from here and I carry it, copy it down. I will get all other numbers. I generate 1000 random instances. Now I come here and say equal to if the demand is greater than what I have. In this instance, we have assumed we have 140 units, and I like it. If it is greater than that, put zero. That means I was not able to satisfy it. Otherwise, put one. I copy it down. 
Now I have the instances where the demand was satisfied and the instances where demand was not satisfied. Now let's see how much sales I have. Sale is equal to minimum of the demand. If demand is what is less than what I have, it would be demand. But if it is greater than what I have, it would be what I have. Therefore, my cell is minimum of demand and inventory. Now, fill rate is equal to sales divided by demand. Sometimes I fully satisfy the demand. Sometimes I do, cannot sa fully satisfy the demand. But I satisfy some portions. Service level is equal to count if. Count if this range is equal to zero. Enter the number of time that I was not able to satisfy the demand. Then I divide it by count. Count of these numbers, which is 1,000. 2% 2 is what I was not able to satisfy the demand. Therefore, 1 minus that is service level. Fill rate equal to average of these numbers, 99. I could have done these computations in different ways. I could have computed fill rate, summation of sales divided by summation of demand. That is fill rate. And for service level, also I could have said count if this range, okay, comma, greater than, I should write it like this greater than, and 140. Count if, if that's greater than that. Enter, enter. 15 times, I divide it by count, which is the number of observations here. That would be the number of times that I have failed. And if I sub, that is the same thing. So I could have done it using different procedures. Now let's increase 140. Let's make it 150. So situation gets better. Let's make it let's make it hundred and see how it moves around 0 0.5 because these are random numbers that is not the entire population. We just have in created one thousand instances. Now suppose we want a service level of seventy five percent. In that case I go yeah, I type equal to norm inverse point seven five comma hundred comma twenty enter says it should be one thirteen. So if I select one one fourteen, my service level comes out close to seventy five. That was a quick review on how to use simulation to see fill rate and service level. Let's go back to original 140. For example, in these instances, we were short of inventory. We were not able to fully satisfy the demand. Thank you very much for your attention.